Hello everybody, uh, this is Paweł Witkowski, uh, a photographer and retoucher from Poland uh, and this is my very first video about uh, retouching and so on. Uh, in this video I would like to share with you uh, my retouching approach. Uh, it will be a bit speed up in later on so i will start from very short and brief description of what will happen later on, on the video so let's start um, usually when i start doing a photo i start by looking at it in general trying to identify the problems that i will have to um, fix later on so in this case First thing that I notice is that there's a really huge difference between those two areas. Uh, let me just draw them. There's a two very different colors here and here. Uh, probably I would like to even them uh, as much as possible. So probably I will remove the yellow color that I have here. I will remove the yellow color from here, from here, from here, probably also from here. So, uh, in general, I would try to make the skin tones much more reddish than in that they are right now. Mm, after that, I would probably try to fix some problems with the saturation. There's too much saturation in these areas here. Um, I also have some very helpful layer, saturation layer in my actions if you're interested i can later on give you some hints how to create that it, it, there's also a lot of information about it over the web it really helps identifying the overstrated areas on the mm, image and um, there is a when we zoom in there is a lot of small things happening uh, that needs to be fixed uh, so let's start by identifying them right now and later on we will try to fix them using some clone stamp or maybe patch tool. So here are some things that are really uh, look nasty and make the mask look not really that nice. Some hairs that are floating around is not really look very nice either. Uh, the mask itself has a problem in this area we would like to also fix it during the retouching part. Um, I don't really like that hair, so I would try to remove them also. Some sp single stripes of hair are also has to be removed. Um, what else? Uh, there's also small things on the hand. Uh, there's some small things on the face. The, all of those has to be removed either. Um, there's also uh, some small things to be fixed over the skin. It's not that much even that I would like to, so I will probably make it more nice and even uh, using a 50% gray layer that you will see uh, later on, on the video. Um, the hairs itself has to be fixed, especially in this area. It looks very ugly and I will probably copy and paste parts of other where other parts of hair that looks nice to make this area look properly. Uh, as you can also notice the hands itself are much brighter than the rest of the body so I will probably tone them down so the hands will be a bit more dark in the end uh, and one of the last steps that probably I will do is just to have the makeup pop up a bit as the flash uh, itself uh, flashed out a bit of the black color that makeup gives so this area and this area has to be enhanced by a bit and during my retouching probably you will see quite often that I'm doing rotation it just helps me to see things different than my brain would like to so if I have some problems identifying areas where the color doesn't match or the lightning doesn't match I just do a lot of rotation just to make sure what it's going on 
and I think that would be it. Uh, if you like the video, just give me some if, sign about it. Maybe I will create something that in the future, especially that it takes a while to create one. So thank you for watching and enjoy.